All right, so a couple different ways we can do this, guys. First of all, we look at this triangle. We see that we have the adjacent side and the opposite side, so therefore we know we have to use tangent. Now again, do not write tangent equals opposite over hypotenuse. It's always the tangent of 30 degrees, right? Okay, that is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which is y over 15. Now, we could do this two different ways. We could understand what is this adjacent side, because now we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. We know that in, if we are actually just going to replace this, couldn't we just use our trigonometric ratios to remember this? Like if we have the, if this is a 30, 60, 90, guys, and we have the long leg, and I want to go back to here, well, what do I need to do? Divide. To divide by what? Radical. radical 3, right? So I could say 15 divided by radical 3. Right? And then simplify. And then we, I'd be done. But most of us do not remember our special right triangles. So that's OK. I'm not going to expect you guys to memorize them. However, the tangent of 30 degrees is just the opposite over the adjacent, right? So if you guys look at that, the opposite over the adjacent is the same thing, which if we look at the triangle with the hypotenuse of 1, is just 1 half over the square root of 3 over 2, which is really just equal to 1 over the square root of 3 equals y over 15. Now to solve for y, you just multiply by 15 on both sides. y is equal to 15 over square root of 3. So if you remember your special right triangles, you could easily go ahead and find y just by knowing that. That's fine. Or you could also use these triangles. And this one's not the greatest one because tangent, a lot of people don't you know, remember. But if you look at that special right triangle, you guys can rewrite tangent of 30 degrees as 1 over the square root of 3 and then just multiply by 15, you get the exact same answer. So you don't have to have the special right triangles memorized. Um, 